and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, we're making shakshuka. Shakshuka is a, a beautiful tomato egg breakfast, usually served in the Middle East, or a brunch. The difference we're doing today is we're making a fish shakshuka. So normally fish wouldn't be in the traditional type of dish. This is a kind of twist on it, which I've actually had in a few places around the world. It's really delicious. So tomatoes, onions, garlic, chili, cumin, eggs, fish. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. So fish. Now you can use any type of fish that you want in this. I've got some kind of sea bass steaks, but like I say, anything goes. You could be doing this with cod or like I say, anything you like. These steaks though are quite nice. They hold together really nicely. Chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, about twice as many as tomatoes as the onions. Garlic, I've roughly chopped mine and I want quite a lot in this. Some eggs we're gonna add later. About a teaspoon of chili flakes, but again, that's optional, you, you know, it's gonna be a little bit spicy, my one. Two teaspoons of cumin powder, olive oil, and I'm using quite a lot of olive oil. You guys normally tell me I use too much oil. I'm actually gonna use quite a lot in this one. I think it really adds a beautiful flavor to it. We're gonna add a touch of water, some salt, some pepper. That's about it. Okay, so you're gonna need a kind of large skillet or frying pan, heat is on. Oh, you're gonna need a lid as well that fits that. So I'm gonna go in with my olive oil. And like I say, before you will comment to me, that's loads of oil, yep, I know it is. If you don't want so much, don't put it in, you can reduce it. Like I say, I think this really adds a wonderful, wonderful flavor to this. And just as that's heating up, we're gonna drop in our garlic. and our onions, cut nice and small. Let's get some salt in there now, and some black pepper. Plenty of black pepper. Really simply, on a medium heat, let's cook these for about three to four minutes. So just as these change colour and are starting to soften, we're now going to add in that optional chilli flakes or chilli powder, that's up to you. And then the two teaspoons of cumin. And now we're going to go in with all of our fresh tomatoes. Let's give these a little mix. Now we're going to try and always use a nice ripe red tomato. The juicier the better because we're trying to make a sauce from this. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop a lid on this now and we're going to cook it for about four to five minutes on a medium heat. What should happen is the tomatoes will cook and break down, soften and hopefully give us some type of sauce. If we don't get enough moisture out of it, we will be adding a touch of water. Okay, let's jump inside and take a look. Let me let some steam out of here. Wow, there you go. Loads and loads of moisture I got from my tomatoes. Now don't worry, if you didn't, you can just add a touch of water to this. But they're still going, they're gonna break down even further than that. And I may still add a touch in a bit. 
Right, now the fish. Simply, we're going to take our fish and place it on the top here. Like I say, any fish you like. We're now going to lower the heat to a simmer. I'm going to pop the lid back on. I'm going to let that go. I mean, it depends on what fish you're using and how kind of thick you cut it. But for this fish, I'm going to let this go for about another five to six minutes. Then I'll be back. Okay, once again, let's jump in. Let me let a little bit of steam out of there so it doesn't cover the camera. Simply going to flip over our fish now. This fish is probably about 75% of the way there. I am now just going to add a touch more water. I'm going to increase the heat. Lid's going to go back on. It's going to be about another four to five minutes, maybe. Okay, so I've just taken the lid off. This is coming on beautifully. Now, some people would add uh, tomato puree or paste and give it a much kind of deeper red looking color. I'm quite happy like this with it, this kind of natural fresh tomato color. But go ahead and do it however you like. Okay, now with the lid off, I'm gonna cook this for about another four minutes. Just wanna kind of steam it out just a little bit. It may reduce down just a tiny amount. Okay, as you can see, still got a good amount of liquid in there. The tomatoes are still breaking down nicely. Now some people would like these tomatoes kind of pureed. And like I said, a deeper red with some sort of tomato paste. But I'm going just like this today. Simply we're now gonna add our eggs. So we crack an egg, we drop it on. I'm going for three eggs today. You could put more on if you wanted. I suppose when you're serving it, you want one egg for each serving. Right, I'm lowering the heat down to a nice simmer. The lid's gonna go back on. And you can now cook the eggs however you want. If you want them kind of nice and runny or hard, that's up to you. I'm going to let mine go for about four minutes. Okay, for the last time, lid is coming off. Let that steam out. That's looking perfect for me. I kind of like my eggs like this. They're quite soft still. But like I say, you can do it exactly how you want. Check that for salt. You might want to add a little bit of salt. For me, no need. But I am going to add some extra chili flakes, optional. And some fresh cilantro, or if you wanted a flat leaf parsley, that works really well as well. And that's it, hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?